folks, welcome back to Natural Magic Survival. Uh, we've got some uh, some stuff going on in the nosery here. We got uh, oh, you're trading for shards. Cool, cool. All right, you uh, yeah, this is uh, one of our older villagers. This is one of our freshly sprouted ones. So, um, do I have any uh, stuff I can leave in here? Um, not right this second. I don't. I will bring y'all some stuff later. You go ahead, have fun, play with the doors. Yeah. Yeah, um, we... On creative last time, uh... Let me grab a copy of the, uh... Hey, buddy? You okay? Alright. Copy of the, uh, the nosery guide. Uh, let's see. Uh, the, all the rules, uh, no fighting, no spitting, no littering, no browsing door tube on public computers, no jumping off balconies, you will die, no dying. Uh, there is nothing behind the Emperor's throne. There is certainly nothing under the Emperor's throne, etc., etc. Yes. But, uh, I'll put this away. There you go, guys. Alright, have fun. I, I should, uh, I should get them some food. That's what I should do. I should get them some food. Let's head to the kitchen. I need to get some milk. That's what I need. Because I need to make some more paint. Okay. Let's see. Is there any uh, milk chilling? Yeah, there's fresh milks. So that's not going to help. Um, no, I'm not going to give him zombie meat. That's disgusting. Um, how about some juice? Nice, healthy juice. And uh, some candy. That'll do. I made these for the quest book back in the day, and uh, then the quest book just sort of crapped itself and fell down the stairs, and... Yeah. <sighs> anyway, um... So yeah, we are, uh... I said I was gonna play with Project E a little bit, and I might. I might continue to. There you go, guys. Help yourselves. Did I hear someone get hurt? No, I guess not. Um... Project E is a, has got so many hooks into so many other magic mods, though. That, that uh, al alchemical bag is cool. It really is. It's got so many hooks into so many magic mods that I don't think I would get very far in it, unfortunately, without... Uh, what time is it? Her. Uh, it's still pretty late. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Let's see if I can get him uh, out of the lap. No, 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 no. Don't tangle up your leg in the, in the microphone cord. There you go. All right. Okay, buddy. Go chase the dot. Go chase the laser dot. Yeah. Hey. So, uh, we are coming sort of to the end of natural magic. And um, I think actually survival is probably going to run out before creative does. Honestly, I'm going to run out of stuff to do in survival. Um, which begs the question, what is next? I'm going to bed. Um, i got to find a bed. I think, uh, I think I'll borrow one of the guest rooms. What's next? Well, I had said that, um, FTB Horizons Daybreaker would be next. However, <coughs> however, uh, Daybreaker is missing some mods that I, I personally find pretty crucial. Like, uh, for, a, you know, for a pack that I'm going to be doing a creative part in. Oh, hello. Um, most notably, Bibliocraft. It has no Bibliocraft. It has no Tinker's Construct. Uh, it has no, um, you know, well, it has uh, Ancient Trees, which adds some new woods and stuff. But uh, it, it's a little thin on some of the, some of the particular mods that I really, really want to have. And I, I had experimented, ouch, with adding Bibliocraft to it and also Biomes of Plenty. Uh, the thing about that is, I don't like to modify packs much farther than, you know, their their factory state. In fact, um, I've kind of felt bad about playing such an old version of Natural Magic, because if you go to download Natural Magic off the At Launcher now... Oops, I am. Um, there we go. If you go to download Natural Magic off the At Launcher now, it's a completely different pack. It's added Chocolate Quest, it's added Rolike Dungeons, it's added um, all kinds of stuff. But, um, and I've, I've kind of uh, made, a, made a point of mentioning that as often as I can remember to, because, you know, you're going to see me playing this, and then you're going to go uh, think, wow, this looks cool. 
and you're gonna download it, and you're gonna be like, what the hell? I, th this is a completely different pack. This is awesome, but it's a completely different friggin' pack. Understandable. And, um, so yeah. So I like to kind of keep my packs that I play for you on camera as close to stock configuration as possible. Um, however, there is another pack out there that's been right under my nose for a while now. There's another pack that's been right under my nose that has all the stuff that I wanted from Daybreaker, that being Deco Craft and Apple Milk Tea and Mechanism and hello. A horse died here. How did I not ever notice that? Um, well. Oh, that's my horse! Oh! Oh, that's that's my horse. I wondered where he went. Ah, oh, jeez. But anyway, um, <laughs> it has apple milk tea, it has mechanism, it has, uh, deco craft, it has, uh, buh -buh. it has the Erebus. It has the Erebus. So that's actually, since it's going to be kind of a continuation, ah, oh, there we go, of Natural Magic of the series, it's kind of nice that it's going to have some things that tie into Natural Magic, like the Erebus. So what pack am I talking at? Ah, chicken. 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 Good. What pack am I talking about? Hermitcraft Mod Sauce 2 is what I'm talking about. So, uh, yeah, I, th I thought we were going to do something on the FTB launcher. I thought we d were. I thought we were, but I was wrong. I was wrong, and I'm sorry. So we're, we're, we're still going to be in an all-at launcher <laughs> channel for a while here. But, um, hey. Hey, buddy. Hey, Elvis. Elvis with a uh, chest on his head. Okay. All right. All right. Um, oh, boy. Let me... No, ah, no, sir. You don't need to get up there. You don't need to get on the keyboard. Negative. Okay. Um, let's just bury him right here. I didn't even name him. God, the poor horse. Oh, jeez. Alright. There you go. Oh, no, throw it in there. Alright. Alright. I'm sorry, buddy. There you go. Okay. Yeah, Hermitcraft Mod Sauce 2, and I played with it a little bit earlier. I, I've, I'm using a default world type instead of the biomes of plenty because that seems to help performance a little bit. But I uh, happened upon a seed that puts me right in a mushroom island at spawn. It's a huge mushroom island. And even better, it's got a plane and some forests and stuff walking distance away. So, you know, I'm not going to be stuck with, with no, no critters forever. Um, I, I'd like the rest of my dock to load now, please. Thank you. Okay. Um Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get this sad little boat out of here. Let's 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 turn. Let's turn. Let's turn. Let's let's get the sad little let's get the dinky dingy into another Whee! Into another another berth here. There we go. We'll just park you right here. Okay. And oops, sploosh. Okay. So why are we out of the docks today? <laughs> why are we getting the dinky dingy out of the the building dock? Well, because I'm going to work on the Imperial Party Barge today is what I'm going to do. I've got some wood. I've got some paint. I've got. Uh, I'd like to make some more paint. I'd like to make some uh, something green. I think some other some other color. to contrast with the uh, ridiculous purple that we already have. Did I not put some stairs or something up here? I guess I didn't. I guess I didn't. We have to do this the hard way. That's alright. That's fine. Alright. So let's just start out. Give me a, give me a dirt. So I can uh, start that. Give me some wood. Actually, 
give me, um, make, let's make a crafting table here real quick. And we'll just plunk it down right here on the dock. Make me a ladder, or two, or three. That way, I can drop one of those on there, right? Ah, there we go. Alright, that's better. Okay. We're gonna make a we're gonna make a party barge, is what we're gonna do. Two. Now I'm hoping that that will uh oh jeez. Hup. Okay, yeah, I uh, I put floaters all around the outside there. Um, uh, I mean, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. <laughs> we'll just shove it out to sea and light it on fire or something. All right. Hup. I gotta go back into the castle and get some more crap anyway. But uh, let's see. Let's see how majestic that looks for here so far. You know, that, that it looks better than the other stupid boat. Looks much better than the other stupid boat so far. Mm. Give me a little sip here. Yes. Hello? I don't see if there's uh, anybody behind the. Uh... Okay. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Uh huh. Okay. We don't, we don't have any colorful characters up here, do we? Hello? Check out the, uh, check out the inn. Doing a bed check here real quick. Anybody that we need to know about in here? Okay. Alright. Alright, uh, we got anything good here? Uh, fish and chips, looks like. Yeah, fish and chips, cola. Okay. Carry on. Ugh, thank you, space. Oh, jeez. Uh, it's getting dark. Yeah, I'll just, uh, I'll just book it back into town. Dude, get down. Ugh. Get the water bottle. Spray, 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 spray. There we go. Ugh. Just hot foot it back to, t back to the, uh, back to the murder house. In fact, I'll get my shears ready here. In case, uh, yeah, I, I tend to end up holed up in the Assassin's Guild at night when I am caught out in the darkness. Excuse me. Thank you. And, you know, I discovered that I could just cut their noses off if they uh, gave me any crap. Hey, guys. How you doing? Hey. Everything, uh, everything legal here? And no, no, uh, no new dead bodies in here? Okay. All right. Carry on. Yeah. Yeah, for a while, every time I go in that house, there would be a gravestone in there. Uh, so that is, that is totally not the Assassin's Guild. All right. Everybody okay here? How's the market doing? Okay. Excellent. Okay. I got to make some, uh, I need wool. I forgot to shear the sheep. Dang. Oh, I don't have sheep, actually. I, I don't have a sheep pen. I, there, there are wild and free sheep all over the place, but, uh, let's see, pigs, cows. Uh, yeah, I've got to, uh, eesh. I never did that. I never, uh, never made a proper sheep farm. But that's okay, because there are sheep. There, there certainly are sheep. That, that disturbs me. Okay. I'll need that. Give me a, uh, no, 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 not the gate. Uh, sheep egg. Yeah, give me that. Okay, any uh, string or wool chillin'? I need that. Oh, hey, a bamboo's growing. That's cool. 
Uh, horse armor and crap. Uh, stuff. Wait, 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 wait. Marble. I don't think there's any... No, there's no wool chilling in here. Okay. Alright, go find some sheep to shave. Sheep to shave. There's a sheep to shave. Hello, little blocklings. Hello, little dirt friends. Come here. All right, give me that. I think there's a few more sheep chilling out here. That pink sheep. That pink sheep that has been here since the beginning of the series. Where is he? Where is that pink sheep? Where's my pink sheep? There he is. He, yeah, he's still in that tree. We'll go say hi to the pink sheep. Hello, pink sheep. This sheep, man. And, and for most of the series, he's been right there on that tree. Which is kind of silly. Oh, dear. But uh, I guess he's scared of water. Or she. Maybe it's a she. I thought the sheep being pink does not necessarily mean it's a girl sheep. Come on. Just be a very secure sheep. Is that all you gave me? Just two. Okay, that, that's, that's okay. That's fine. I'll come up this way. Okay, that's a biomes of plenty berry. Which I not... Hello! Oh, that's a kitty crater, I think. Yeah, you just go ahead and... Alright. Is that a villager zombie? Okay. Alright. Cool story, bro. Hi, buddy. Have a little kitty cat in my lap. There's the uh, the wizard's castle. Uh, 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 uh. No, sir. Okay, I see an ender friend. I see a couple of ender friends. All right, y'all, carry on. Have fun out here. Yeah, there's the uh, the witch's lodge right next to it. I think I've still got a vanilla boat floating around <laughs> out there somewhere. Okay. Oh, snap. Um, I still gotta make some more paint. Uh, crap. That's fine. That's fine. Um, do I have any uh, logs? I have no logs. Oh. Well, we just took the scenic route back to the castle is what we did <laughs> the scenic sh sheep shearing route yes yes indeed all right did i bring the sheep egg i did i'm gonna pop it in one of those pens i'll pop it in the pig pen yeah i've had a lot of fun in this series i've had a lot of fun with the format that being uh doing creative one day of the week and survival the other day so I'm going to continue to do that with Mod Sauce, and in Mod Sauce 2, we're going to be doing a uh, modern version of Beefnopolis, since there are tech mods. And since, um, I'm going to do it, and I'm going to recreate the world, I think I'm going to use the same seed, but start over. Since uh, we start off in a mushroom biome, um, I, I've got to make some kind of a play on uh, Beef Stroganoff for the, because uh, it's just going to be the capital city of Neo Beefnopolis. There we go. And uh, while I'm here, I'm going to shave you, okay? It's going to be the, the capital city of New Beefnopolis. And it's going to have a power plant and all kinds of wonderful modern conveniences. It's going to be great. And I'm just, I am absolutely chomping at the bit to play with all these cool decorative mods that it's got. With Deco Craft, which I'm playing with a little bit over in Sky Factory 2. Apple Milk Tea has got some really nice stuff in it. And then there's another food mod, I, I can't think of what, Still Hungry, I think it's called, that I've never messed with at all. And as much as I, you know, I love Pam's Harvest Craft. I do love Pam's Harvest Craft very much. But uh, more food mods are also good. 
more food mods are fun. I like food mods. I love food mods. And speaking of food mods, I'm starving, but that's not cookies. That's money. So <laughs> I can't. I cannot eat money. Um, well, well, you could, but it it wouldn't be very healthy. And also, um, it's probably got germs on it. All right, what do we got in the fridge? Um, raw, raw apples. Um, give me some of those. Oh, jeez. Um, no, don't don't cook the ship's helm. There we go. I'll cook up some. Oh, I've got that chicken. I got that chicken. There we go. Okay. What is that noise? Somebody testing out their subwoofers, I guess. There we go. All right. Oop! I meant to go this way. All right, back to the paint mixer. Okay, so um, we'll need some just god awful green here to go with that god awful purple, and that should just about do it, I think. A little bit more. Oh, there we go. Oh man, that is gonna make my eyes bleed. All right, mix it up. See so how you watch the uh, watch the paint go. It's actually yeah, you can actually see it turning turning in there. That's cool. That's really cool. I'm gonna need to make another couple of paint brushes too. Okay. Um. All right. Seven more floaters. Um. Do I have any more string? I have a string that sucks. Anything in the junk drawer? Neg. Okay. All right, it, it's cool. It's fine. It's all good. Um, since I have another bucket of milk, let's see. Um, let's make something, some dark color here for contrast. There we go, that'll do. Okay. I need one more paintbrush, I think. Uh, I need more sticks. Okay, give me another paintbrush. There we go. I'll just, uh, I'll make one more floater. We'll have an even number. And that should do it. Ah, Lou. Okay, that should do it. All right. Okay. Is this, uh, what do I have in here? Oh, uh, beer. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, we never did, um, I, I think, actually, the version of Benny's slash extra trees that's in this version of Natural Magic uh, does not actually have all the brewing, brewing stuff implemented yet. I, I'm going to have to sleep somewhere weird again, huh? I guess, I mean, my bedroom is right down there, but, you know. Uh, let's, let's try out the writer's room tonight. Haven't been here yet. Haven't slept in here. Ah, there we go. Okay. Okie dokie. Yeah, I still gotta do these rooms. I've still got rooms to do on the other side. Meow. Meow. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's why it hurt so bad when I uh, jumped off of there. Because, uh, this is not where I normally jump down from. Ah, oh, there we go. That's nice and safe. Nice. Okay. All right. Lesson learned. But uh, yeah, the reason that I'm I'm kind of uh, side eyeing Project E is because a lot of the stuff that it's got its hooks in is blood magic, and I'm not. Uh, I've, I've tried blood magic. Uh, if you like blood magic, more power to you. I've tried it. I'm not crazy about it myself. Back in Agrarian Skies, we tried it out. This is going to come out perfect. Yes. Okay. I do not want to put the helm down yet. I want to put... I'm going to need more wool. Okay. Ah, I have a thought. Are carpenter blocks paintable? Oh, I still got the pink wool. Um, I don't know why I did that. 
Let's see. Are carpenter blocks paintable? If they are... Alright. Okay. Now let's put the... Uh, where's the, where's the, the horrible purple paint? There it is. Okay. And let's, let's just go ahead and put all the paint cans down. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. Um, no. Carpenter blocks not paintable. Okay. That's fine. Um, I was I was hoping it was, but that's fine. All right. Well, um, just let's just throw those off into the sea because I don't really don't really need them right now. Oh, is wool paintable? I would assume it is. It's a vanilla block. No? Wool is not paintable either. Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay. So it, it's going to have to be wood. It's going to have to be good old-fashioned wood. Yeah. But that's okay. Um... Hey. Okay, so it, it, it magically turns into a, a canvas. It does it. Stairs. Uh-uh, son. Get off. Get off, get off, get off. Okay. Are stairs paintable? Good lord, I hope so. And slabs. This is all stuff that I probably could have attempted in creative. But, you know. I'm... Uh, slab, no paintable. Stairs, no paintable. Okay. Alright. That's fine. It's fine. Uh, we'll just have to use uh, regular old wool. But I tell you what we can do. Is... Start painting this here boat. Okay. That actually looks... Uh, it, it's not nearly as obnoxious once you put it on wood. Oops. Oh dear. Uh, you know what? It's fine. Let's roll with it. Let's do it. Yeah, it's, it's not quite as horrific once it's on the wood. Yeah. Oops. Hey. Why no paint? Oh, because uh, brush has no paint. Ugh. Sploosh. Okay. Can I cannot wait for Pokemon Go. I'm going to have to get a new phone because my phone is crap. And I can guarantee you right now, will not run it. But, um, oh man, that, that's going to be, that is going to be awesome. Okay. Give me the god-awful green here. Well, oh yeah. <laughs> that is obnoxious. That's, that's awesome. Okay, you know, let's, let's just do the whole thing. Beautiful, beautiful. Can't, nope, can't. Okay. Just for the creepy pasta too is is gonna be so nice, and <laughs> for for uh, the uh, the Pokemon uh, Go creepy pastas, yes, that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be so much fun, and you know people are talking about you know waking up and having a Mr. Mime staring at them. Oops, that's not what I want. Um, personally, I'm more worried about turning around and realizing that there's a lick of tongue there. And it wants to see if I has a flavor. Uh, <laughs> I stand by my assertion that Lickitung is the creepiest Pokemon in the entire dex. I forget your ghost types. Forget your dark types. Oops. Forget your, you know, murdered children spirits and, and child-eating puppets. Now, Lickitung is the creepiest Pokemon in the Pokedex. I'm sorry. Just those those blank eyes and that, that flappy tongue. It's just... Okay. 
And it looks like that's going to be about all I can do with the party barge for now. God, I hope this thing works. I really do. Um, <laughs> if it doesn't, well, oh well. All right, folks, I'm going to go uh, shave some sheep, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. All right, so yeah, I, I put, the, uh, put the canopy on the party barge. Put the helm down. Okay. Oh, please work. Assemble ship. Mount ship.